Hi everyone. So to continue my Pi 2 adventures, um, I've decided to look into retro gaming, and I found this uh, grey little program here called Retro Pi, um, running an emulation station. Um, now you can you can download this from emulationstation.org. Uh, it's pretty simple. Just use the uh, Win32 image to burn the disk and pop it into Pi, and away you go. So this is what I've done, and here I'm just currently going through the configuring of my keyboard. Um, did have a bit of difficulty with this um, because enter doesn't actually mean enter. And I'm trying to press OK, and it's actually not doing anything. So let's just get this right. Hold on. So I've got key up A B. Right, so that's A. Yeah, A. That's Z. So change that. Uh, there you go. Ah, there you go. Okay. So yeah, there you go. So I can now. So what I'm going to be looking at today is Quake and Quake Three. I was actually very, very surprised by the performance of this game. Uh, yeah, we'll have that one. Yeah, this brings back memories. Bring it on. Okay, loading up. And. Yeah, yeah. Hey! <laughs> Oh, I can't work out the keys. Hang on, let's hang on. Uh, that was backwards. Yeah, there you go. Got it. This is harder than it seems. Ah, there you go. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Cooking on gas now. That ain't bad actually for a little raspberry pie. I'm quite impressed. Where's she gone? Yeah. Oh. Where is she? Why is it not moving? Hang on, my keyboard's not working. Oh! Oh dear. Oh well, never mind. So, let's have a look at what else we've got. So we've got a quake. And this... the end of my video. Um, I'm going to be looking at more retro gaming uh, on the Pi in other videos, so um, if you want to see more, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.